I'd like to welcome I'd like to welcome everybody to the Lake Senior Center. This is a day that we have been looking forward to for quite some time. Uh, as you can see, we have a very special gift that is outside. And uh, the lady who made it all possible with her family was Helen Rokeby. And she was a longtime uh, member here, a longtime friend of ours who we have wonderful memories of and she was just a wonderful delightful lady for us and uh, we'll get on with the program i'd like to introduce june peterson she is the director of aging partners so welcome june thank you kelly we have waited a long time for this and we are so excited this gift means a great deal to aging partners to the senior centers and activities in in lancaster county we use these vans for transportation for older people everywhere. This one will bring people to this center. It will take these people to other places when events happen throughout the city. Our fleet for aging partners has been aging. And we're very, very grateful to have a brand new van that won't spend any time in the shop being repaired. We'll be able to use it. So we're very, very grateful. And we're pleased this morning that we have with us the mayor of the city of Lincoln. So let me introduce Chris Beitler. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good morning to you all. Uh, it's cold, but isn't this a warm way to start out the new year with an act of generosity on this scale? Uh, I am delighted to be here today to say thank you to all of the people involved uh, on behalf of the, of the people of the city of Lincoln. Uh, first of all, by thanking Bob and, and Vicki Rokeby uh, and, of course, the Schmieding Foundation. Did I pronounce that correctly, I hope? Okay. Uh, for a very, very generous gift. And I want, of course, on this occasion to honor the memory of two very special people who would be very, very happy about today's ribbon cutting. First is Vicki's uncle, the late Lawrence meeting. Uh, Lawrence was a Lincoln native, I believe, to begin with. Uh, became a very successful business person, primarily down in Arkansas. Would that be correct again, too? Okay. And then uh, he went on to do uh, something that is uh, as American as the country, uh, turned around and started giving back to the community uh, through the creation of a significant foundation. And that foundation is designed, as I understand it, at least in part, to improve the lives of older adult citizens. The second person we honor today is, is Bob's mother, the late Helen Rokeby, who was very active uh, here at the Lake Street Center. The center manager, manager Kelly, uh, describes her as a charming woman uh, who loved being around other people and who loved volunteering for a wide variety of causes. For Helen, the transportation provided by the center was a lifeline, and the new van now will help uh, many others to continue to lead happy and active and productive lives in the community. Lauren, Lawrence and Helen uh, both understood the importance of giving back to the communities in which they had lived. While this van is only a small part of their legacy, it is very meaningful and very much appreciated. So thank you all again for the parts that you have played uh, in this small but very significant uh, act of generosity. Thank you. I would, I would ask 
Bob and Vicki to come forward so that you can all see them. We have other members of the mm -hmm. Rokeby family here too. Lucy and Max and their parents. And Bob serves on the foundation board of directors. Yeah, you're Lucy and Max up here, so they can I think the so. Come. <laughs> well, he's not there. Oh, they're going to be shy. <laughs> <laughs> Would you tell us just a little bit about your work on the foundation? Well, uh, Vicki's uncle Lawrence uh, asked me to be on the foundation board, and probably ten years ago or so. <clears throat> and uh, as time goes on, the foundation's done quite a few things. Uh, major, a major deal in Arkansas with a with a uh, center for elderly. And uh, but we decided we wanted to do one big thing where you have something physical to see instead of just writing checks to help people. And and. Uh, through, I think Vicki talking to the president, came up with the idea of doing a van here. So I guess we got to, we all have to thank Vicki for coming up with the idea and. Uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and you know, as I think of how things came about, you know, my mother went here, really enjoyed being here, rode the van and in fact, she told me about being down at the mayor's office to campaign for funding for the senior center. And, and uh, <clears throat> so, I mean, that's, that's how the, this thing happened. Just, you know, one connection. And uh, so anyway, we're glad the van's here and all you folks can use it. So. Well, let's go outside and cut that ribbon and let you all see this wonderful bus. Well done.